Hi! Today, using the example of an iOS mobile application, we will learn how to execute database queries to SQLite using the Swift programming language. For queries, we will use the grdb library toolkit. Ok, for demonstration, we have a database which contains an information about products in a store. Each product has properties ID, title, quantity, and price. The database was filled with test data. There are seven rows here. We need a simple app which will display results of SQL queries. At the storyboard there is one view controller with the table view. Every cell contains two labels for outputting data about a product and a stack view with three buttons at the bottom of the screen. Here is the code of class product table view cell, which represents a cell of the table view. It contains two UI label fields. Next, the code of the view controller. It prepared for representing data at the table view. Also here there are click handlers for three buttons. And finally, the class product, which describes an entity from our database. Besides, the class contains a couple of methods. They return information about a product. Now we need to get grdb toolkit library for db queries via CocoaPods. If you haven't got yet the CocoaPods on your Mac, install it. Follow the instruction which you can find in the description to this video. Ok, we are at the directory which contains the folder with Xcode project. Do right click on the folder, services, new terminal at folder. Execute the command pod init. After that in projects folder there will be the pod file. Open it with a text editor application. Add to the file the string podgrdb.swift so the file will look something like that. Save it, open the terminal up again and execute the command pod install. So the grdb toolkit has been installed. If you haven't closed the Xcode, close it. In the catalog with your project, open a file with the extension .xc workspace. Now we need to add a SQLite database file to the Xcode project. In Xcode, create a folder with the title res. Drag and drop from the finder to the Xcode to the folder res your database file. In the window that will appear, mandatory set the checkbox next to the item add to targets. Also, check the existing of the file with the database in targets of your project in the section Copy Bundle Resources. Add the file if it doesn't exist. Let's start coding and making queries to SQLite in Swift. First, we need to import the grdb library at the top of the file. Next, add the new variable to the class. Then we need to receive the instance of the class database queue. It provides access to a database. Let's write the according class method. On a real device you can't write data into a source DB file. You can only read it. So we need to copy the source DB file into application support directory. In the method viewDidLoad of viewController class, we get a database queue instance. Ok, our first query will be select. We will get and will display all data from our database. Here is the code of the new method.
We will call this method at the load all button click. Let's run the application on an iPhone simulator and look to result. Another select query in our demo will get only one row from the database, the row with id equals 3. The last select query will receive several rows from the database with WHERE condition with price less than 3. Before moving on to the next queries, let's add one more button to the interface layout. Ok, now insert query. If you want to insert a new row into a database table, then use the following code. Here we are adding a new product. Then update query. Let's update some data. For example, we will set the quantity equals 0 to all products which have the title olive oil. For that updating the existing rows, use this. Finally, delete query. Here we remove all rows which represent products with the title olive oil. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. You can find all the code from the lesson at the link in the description. Please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos.